All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch. Well, he will push you back a little bit off the jab, and then he fools you a little bit. You know, he's a little bit of a magician, a little sleight of hand. Then he makes you feel like he's going to push you back again, and he'll step back, and he'll counter you. But that jab is what makes it all happen. Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward very steadily. Tall guy versus short guy here tonight in front of us. Teddy, why does it seem so hard sometimes that some tall fighters don't necessarily fight tall? Because, Joe, it takes great discipline to stay on the outside. You look at him, you say, hey, you're tall. I wish I was tall like that. But now it takes restraint, control to stay in those quarters and make sure you don't give in and allow the shorter guy to get close. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. What's and now up? he's targeting upstairs. Spinks is stunned, and he is hurt. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. That was not well targeted by Raging Bull. Raging Bull's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. There's a straight right hand. Great. Spinks's corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Raging Bull showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. On, wow, what an uppercut. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Spinks' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And he returned. Good, solid right hand lands. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Spinks is rock. Oh, that's got to hurt. One shot and down, Teddy. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. Spinks' trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. That's a solid right hand by Raging Bull. Oh, what a huge power punch. What an excellent two-punch combo by Raging Bull. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Sphinx is tagged by that punch. Scored well up top. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Great. Has a certain tone in that corner that every trainer wants. They are bubbling with confidence. They know they can go out and accomplish things again here. He comes back with the left hand again. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Spinks. Spinks is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for 
is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. Raging Bulls been stunned. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. No, in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Wow. Oh! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Bunker! Somehow, some way, he's gonna continue on here. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. steady himself right now after being stunned. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Sphinx is hurt. Can you believe this? This round is absolutely outrageous. What a big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? And the round, three rounds in the books. Raging Bulls in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him. He's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. A well-targeted jab that time. Accurate with a straight left. Good flush shot upstairs. Spinks is a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Nice two-punch combo by... And bang, and away he goes. Oh, my, what a shot. Spinks is down. He's got to beat the count. That punch was absolutely a stunner. And that came so wide that he had no preparation for it. That's where an awkward shot pays dividends. Come on. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Take yourself. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Spinks. Spinks is just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it, it controls your defense. Keeps a guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. <laughs> Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Raging Bulls swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. And Using in there you know you can only use certain things avatine adrenaline and thrombin i'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue able to block and counter back solid shot the overhand left oh what an uppercut Scored well with that straight left. Spinks is dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. 
Good power punch. The right hand landed. Raging Bulls doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Wow! Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Spinks' corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Oh, a big shot comes home for him. 